Greetings interwebs at last I am back with another tutorial video it has been a very very long time since I've done one of these I don't know why I've done have not done so but before I begin on what we're going to be talking about look at this little section right here this is going to be my next big project look at this Google Earth VR Steam VR big screen rec room portal VR in the lab if you don't know what these are, you might know what they are in the coming weeks because I may be working on something with those. So stay tuned on that. But today, the main focus today is I got a request in a video a while back from someone asking me on how to do custom icons and banners on a 3DS because um, of a, that Pokemon, that controversial, you could say, Pokemon Sun video that I had put up. Put up. Uh, I intended for it to be an absolute troll video. So... I'm not hurt at all, but he asked how to do the custom banners and stuff on a 3DS, and I said, okay, I'll put that in the to-do list. Said, okay, well, time to fulfill the to-do list, and uh, I'm going to do that quite right now and show you exactly how to edit the banner of a 3DS game. Now, this is only limited to, if you know what the banner is, that's what, whenever you select a game, that's what shows up on the top screen of it. Um, we're only going to be limited to using 2D banners right now three-dimensional banners uh, a little too much like I haven't wrapped my head around that yet but uh <coughs> excuse me but a lot of prereqs you'll actually need for this uh, first one you'll need a 3ds with custom firmware and a way to install CIA files uh, if you want a tutorial on that that is of course for another day too long to go over that in this own video but you will need one of those. Search the internet on how to get one of those. What I did is I actually bought a new 3DS XL and basically if you've updated your 3DS in the past six months, you probably can't mod it anymore. It's gonna be hard. But I actually bought a new, my old 3DS is currently for sale, but my new 3DS when I bought it, it had firmware the, like the, an old older firmware that could have been modified so I did just that and got custom firmware on it and you'll need a way of, of course like I said to install CIA files which are basically kind of like ROM files but they're like um, downloadable eShop games and you'll need a CIA file you'll need a decrypted CIA file how to obtain or how to obtain a decrypted CIA file? Pretty much, I the um, CIA I found a and I have in this tutorial was decrypted, but uh, once again, that's a whole another day. This is strictly for the banner modification. So once you have a decrypted CIA file and a modified 3DS, we can go on with this. Now, prereqs for your computer, you'll need. Uh, this took me forever. To realize you need Python 2.7, latest version, I think 2.7.12 right now. And if you have a 64-bit operating system, which basically everyone does today, you'll need a you'll need to download Pillow, not uh the GitHub, which I got this from, recommended um the Python image library, but that actually didn't work. I actually needed to do Pillow, which is compatible with 64-bit but it's all the same stuff so again links will be in the description but once you have Python and pillow you'll also need to download two files that I have here you'll see them it's a uh, no, not this one uh, okay that's what was wrong it would be a, it's gonna be a folder called 3ds banner maker you're gonna need that specific one uh, that's the only one I find that actually works with for me right now like the um, the the uh, GUI version for some reason doesn't work. It gives me a lot of errors and uh, I don't even want to try to use banner tool. Now, this is only limited to the visual part. The audio part, you'll need to figure out how to convert your audio to BC wave and it has to be, I believe, under three seconds. <laughs> so once you have this uh, 3DS banner maker folder and the hack pack, uh, also for the hack pack, you'll need uh, you need a few files like oh no that's the decrypt to decrypt it you'll need a few files like um, 
slot key zero x twenty five dot bin, but you'll you'll find you'll find those somewheres um, like where I downloaded the hack pack. You know, you know uh, you'll just need to find those. But <clears throat> let's see. Well, okay, this is not what you're going to see. You're basically going to see these three files when you first open up the uh when you first open up the hack pack what you'll have to do is you'll have to put in your uh, decrypted CIA for this one I chose Pokemon blue and I renamed it blue.cia and you're gonna have to run first of all you are have to run the setup you're gonna run the setup let's see if I could just run it again if it make okay let's see yeah, okay yep yeah, just it's pretty quick and then you're gonna run the hacking toolkit and you're going to do um, CE to extract the extra to extract the CIA file uh, enter the name of your decrypted CIA file so mine was called blue decrypt uh, decompress the code dot bin um, no and should do that and then your um, directory will populate with all these files so you can go ahead and close that and now you're kind of ready to edit uh, firstly now that that's all ready to go let's go ahead and go to we're gonna go back to our banner editor and we're gonna need to make three files three image files all in PNG, PNG format one's gonna go in this banner image folder one's gonna go in this 24 by 24 folder and a 48 by 48 uh, transparency is supported for the banner like uh, for example in my son video I use a transparent image uh, your banner will have to be the name in the this name format 256 by X or 256 X 128.png and for this I decided to choose the Half-Life 3 logo because today we're gonna be putting Half-Life 3 kind of on the 3ds it isn't transparent as you can see I just want to make it quick as I can but once you have that 256 by 128 PNG file you're gonna go ahead and click convert and then once you click it it should say done 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 click to continue and now you should see that uh, let's see yeah some of these files are gonna be edited like uh, all you know is they're edited and you do the same to 24 and you get uh, a 24 by 24 PNG file put in that folder with icon.png as the name and you're just gonna click on convert so you're basically prepping all these files to build it and you're gonna do the same in the 48 folder ignore this file um, and you're gonna do this with the 48 as you see it's a slightly bigger image you're gonna click convert prep it again and click done press in key to continue get out of that now when all three of these are built or if you've included your custom audio which apparently yeah maybe yeah you if you have custom audio in this format you should name it example that BC wave and overwrite that file now before you want to build you're gonna to have to select a name for your game that you want it to show up on a 3ds like when you have it to where it's just one long row of games or uh, applications to where it shows the name the name of the game and the publisher of the game so that you're going to edit app data dot text and you're going to see right here long title short title i usually leave these the same i mean i haven't had an exceptionally long name game so long title i've chosen half-life 3 short title half-life 3 publisher valve okay and once you keep these, remember, put these inside the um, <clears throat> the quotations. Make sure you save it. And now you're going to run build ICN and BNR dot bad. Okay, as you can see, banner and icon were built. Exit. And now you're going to notice that you're going to have these two files named banner dot BNR and icon dot ICN. Rename rename both of these and give them a dot BIN extension. And once you have these with the BIN extension, you can go back to your hack pack, your pack hack, um, go into, let's see, it's not banner, it's actually ROM F, no, no, it's not this, it is 
EXCFS, you should just get these. And you're going to have banner.bin, uh, ignore banner.bnr, that's, that should not be relevant to this. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're just going to take this banner.bin and icon.bin, and we are just going to place them in here. And let's go ahead and delete banner.bnr and icon.icn. We should be able to do that. And now if we open our hacking toolkit, if we do CR to rebuild it, we should be able to just name it, let's say uh, HL4, because I already have HL3 in that folder. Hit enter, rebuild in progress, creation done. Cool, okay. So uh, now I should have this <clears throat> CIA file, which in my case it's smaller because I didn't choose the, uh, I have a shorter, I have more simple headers, I mean, not headers, uh, a banner image rather than the um, normal virtual console thing. Like I've said, I'm using Pokemon Blue. So don't be surprised if it sees a smaller, your file size is smaller or bigger than the original. This one's actually four kilobytes bigger. I don't know why, but we're going to go ahead and put this HL4 edited. I'm actually going to name it. I'm actually going to use, yeah, I'll put it over my 3ds and I'll show y'all how it goes. Uh, so put these on, put this on your, uh, 3ds SD card, any which way you can. I'm I did it over to, uh, what you call the, uh, online network thing, the, the network management. I'm opening my 3ds right now. If you heard that click, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the root of my SD card and I will be right back. Okay, as you can see here, I pulled up my 3DS. I'm mirroring my 3DS display um, using Nitro Stream. That's the, one of the benefits of having a custom firmware on your 3DS. So I'm able to kind of use this like a capture card in a way. But once you have the CIA file on your 3DS, what you're gonna do is go to FBI, you should only, or your CIA installer, you should only have one of these. Don't, I have two because I injected one in the health and safety and never even bothered taking it off. But let's go ahead and start FBI. And it should mirror onto here. There we go. So if you go to SD and we go down to HL4 edited, we should notice that it says Half-Life 3, Half-Life 3, Valve, uh, and uh, you can see the Half-Life 3 icon. It's a little more high res on mine because I don't have the quality quite as high, but when you click, you can just gonna click OK. And you're gonna click Install, and or Install and Delete if you're running low on space, but I have a 32 gig card. Picked that up on Black Friday for like six bucks. Don't have to worry about storage much. And once that finishes installing, you should be able to click OK back out of all of that and you should get back to the home menu new software has been added and just like that bam half-life 3 confirmed guys and if you don't believe me you can go ahead and look half-life 3 i mean you can troll your friends saying hey half-life 3 is not coming out on a pc that's what they that's what valve wants you to think no it's coming out on 3ds imagine half-life 3 on the 3ds how great would that be but in reality, when you start it, you should be greeted with the pleasant, uh, the following functions are not supported in this title, restore or suspend points, and I never planned on doing that. Preparing to start the game. And, yep, you should be greeted with Nintendo and Creatures. Wow, my, that's pretty blue compared to what I actually have on my screen. I'm like hearing the theme in my head. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's like I hear the, it's like I hear the theme, but the volume's clearly off. But, dang. Okay, but uh, there we go. Pokemon Blue is playing, but in it shows that Half Life Three is playing. So there you have it. Um, things you know. Leave comments if you want me specifically to cover stuff like uh, 
maybe I might do custom firmware. Uh, I'm not going to do custom firmware uh, unless someone buys me another 3DS because that's basically what I'm going to need, a brand new th out the box 3DS for that. Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, or like videos like I did for my son, I have right here saved at my disposal. Uh, no, it's just I have, me, Dave Newell. I have that saved at my disposal for more Half-Life 3 fun. Uh, 3D banners. Maybe once I get my head around that, I'll do that. Uh, let's see. Decrypting the CIA, possibly. Uh, whichever one, if someone like puts, hey, do this, and someone else says, hey, do this, and they get a lot of thumbs up, the one with the more thumbs up will probably be the one I do first. But until then, I think I'm done. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button for more. Expect these six programs to be played. But once again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, show me you appreciate it, what I did. Uh, other than that, peace out, guys. See y'all next time.